Arthur has gone down a road of heavy borrowing to finance government expenditure that has been loose and slack. Loose and slack management of the financial resources of this country. In the past 12 years, there are several projects we can touch about. Prison expenditure, flyovers, $20,000 to do a simple thing like cut down a tree. The cost of the UDC and the urban housing projects, using contractors that don't know what they're doing and butchering up the people's houses. The complaints all over the constituency of St. James Central and all over the other 29 constituencies in Barbados, people complaining about work done by UDC and, and um, the rural in terms of the quality of the work. All extra costs to the way government is managed. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. This is only the tip of the iceberg because Moscow himself has said that this government, the Barbados Labour Party, has tried to concede expenditure but off-budget spending. Spending through government corporations like the Urban, the Enterprise Growth Fund, Hotel and Resorts Limited, better known as the GEMS Project of Barbados. Hardwood Project, and we will talk more about Hardwood Project tonight. But in order to conceal that spending, that waste, ministers of government have refused to table the financial statements to these corporations. They have refused. Hotels and Resort has not laid financial statements in Parliament for over six years. Over six years. A company that in 2001 was hemorrhaging taxpayers' dollars to the extent of $1.8 million per month, $22 million a year in, 19, in 2001. Come to the people and tell the people what is the situation with the hotel and resorts and the Gems project. Report a company that, the, that was legally bankrupt. on the Minister of Tourism under whose portfolio the GEMS project will fall to lay the financial statements in the house and Masco can talk about it too because he seems to be the main spokesman on the GEMS. I am asking tonight, is there a cover up? Is there a reason why those financial statements cannot be laid? As a professional accountant specializing in auditing, I know that when the auditors don't report, it either means that they haven't been paid or they have not been given all the information and explanations that they require. So I ask tonight, is there a cover up? What is the reason why those financial statements cannot be made? Six years those companies have not reported. Do you know that in 1998, they take up $10 million of your national insurance money to put in the gems? $10 million. Do you know that this government led by Owen Arthur went to Trinidad and borrowed 15 million US dollars and put in the gems. 15 million dollars they borrowed from Trinidad to put a waste in a company that in 2001 was not solvent. A loan that in 2009 you the taxpayers of Barbados you and I have to repay 15 million US dollars and now you understand why David Eswick, when he speaks about the national debt, has to be concerned. Why I say to you that this government has been loose and slack with the management of your financial resources. Why is the cost of living so high in Barbados? If government cannot control its expenditure, what do you expect? the 
this supermarket and all going to be well. The cost of living is not only about supermarket prices. It is all the other things in Barbados that is going up. All the other services, the electricity bill is going through the roof. All these things are part of the cost of living. But I can tell you this tonight. That the idea of focusing your attention on the supermarket prices is so that they can come through the back door and hit you on another direction. Do you know that come 1st of January this year, 2008, the national insurance will be going up? When that national insurance is increased come January, the cost of doing business in Barbados will go up. The cost to all the companies, not just supermarkets, the manufacturing companies, all the service companies, the same like them power, and the companies that are employing large numbers of people, all their cost is going to go up. And the business model in Barbados is easy. When your costs go up, you increase your prices. So when with this measure they increase the prices, this is what you're gonna feel in January. Less disposable income because you're gonna pay more in VAT. Bigger prices in this in to markets and all over all the other business places. So you understand what is happening to the, what is going to happen to the cost of living. Nothing to do with what's important at all. Don't let the Barbados Labour Party fool you, telling you that the cost of living increases is important. Yes, that is the contributory. But government expenditure has to be controlled. You have to take all the wastage out of government.